Garrett, what do you think of the responsibility of being the game one starter? How do you take it? Yeah, it's um, it's always special. I think uh, anytime somebody gets selected to um, lead a team into battle, and I think what comes with that responsibility is preparedness, um, poise, and um, to be on the attack. Other questions? Uh, Joel, to your right, Garrett. Garrett, how much do you think about legacy and how much of it is tied to excelling this time of year and leading a team to a championship for you personally? Um, uh, I haven't put much thought into legacy. Um, m all my focus is, is towards uh, preparing to pitch well tomorrow. Other questions? Uh, Dan, to your right, Garrett. Yeah, with the, with the way you you finished the season, were you able to? Do you just dismiss the, the last few starts where, where the home runs might have been a, a problem, and and just attack this as you pitched well against Cleveland two times, or is that something that you you tried to attack in the preparation for this game? I feel like after every start, you evaluate what you could and could not have done better. And you prepare yourself for the last one, or for the next one, rather. Um, I think we've thrown the ball really well lately. So, um, and our process has been been crisp in between and identifying what we need to do better uh, based on successes and failures. Uh, up front to your left, Lindsay. Here, sort of along those lines. Does anything? change for you in terms of preparation and routine as you head into the postseason, or is it important for you to stay with what you feel has given you success throughout the regular season? Yeah, I mean, every every game that you pitch during the regular season is an opportunity to fine-tune your process and the way you go about your business so that it becomes automatic in situations like this. We'll stay in the first row. Uh, is there anything you change about your mindset approach when you are going into a playoff situation where so many of key bullpen pieces are coming back from injury? Um, I would say that, you know, I'm just trying to take care of myself, and that's where my focus is. On the second row on your right, John. Obviously, it's the first time you're pitching a postseason game for the Yankees here after in your third year with that, you've pitched against them. But what are you looking forward to in that sense tomorrow night? Sleeping in my own bed. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Randy in the third row and then Ron. Garrett, the temperature tomorrow I think is supposed to be in the high 40s. Usually people think that's advantage pitcher on cold nights. How does cold weather affect you? Um, the conditions here at Yankee Stadium often fluctuate throughout the year. Uh, we have a lot of cold games and windy games early in the season, and that seems to come full circle by the end of the year. Um, on your best nights, it probably doesn't affect much. And other nights, sometimes it can be challenging, not just for you, but for everyone else on the field. <laughs> it's cold. But um, I think the objective is to control what you can control, prepare yourself for the cold, and, and, and prepare yourself in between innings to be able to go out and physically do what you need to do. Uh, Eric on the far end of the first row. Gary, you came close a few years ago to winning a World Series. How much does that specific goal drive you? Yeah, I mean, um, Brian McCann said it to me best when he called me after I got traded to Houston. Uh, he was one of the first players that gave me a call. And I don't know if he stole the line from the Hurt Locker, but he he said, you know the postseason to drug, right? And I was like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. He just can't get enough of it. Go with Ron in the first row. Given how loud it's likely to be tomorrow, 
can you prepare by turning Pitchcom the volume up? Do you have to have a plan to go to the hand signals if it's so noisy you can't hear? Yeah, we had a Pitchcom failure in Texas, worked the multiple signs and the regular signs. Um, that was a good experience. And uh, I missed the Pitchcom call for the first time in Toronto uh, in the loud moment with um, – See the runner on first and second, or runner on first. Um, so, uh, experiencing those, experiencing the failure of the pitch com, and obviously the failure of myself not to correctly hear the pitch called, um, we'll just have to be vigilant in those situations um, and just be prepared to adapt.